So, thanks to Star Trek Express, the Silverstone fans have already arrived. This is the original Delta unit from the, from the disc shelf. Um, there is a significant difference in the amount of amps each fan draws. This one draws 4.65 as I mentioned in the thread, and this one draws 0.85. Um, I'm just doing, gonna do a quick, quick and dirty and subjective sound test of the two. Um, please excuse my voice, I do have COVID at the moment. And also, if you catch a glimpse of my attire, please excuse that as well. I did go out this morning doing a bit of wildlife photography in which I dress with camouflage. Anyway, I'm gonna show you a couple of sound tests. Um, First with the Delta, then the Silverstone, both at full speed. And because the Silverstone does have a standard PWM connector, I'm going to connect it to one of those AliExpress PWM temperature controlled units. This one here is, as you can see, it's getting power here. And this is the wire that goes to the temperature probe, which is connected to the back of the heatsink. Yes, this is the controller PC for the disc shelf. Um, those are also Silverstone fans, they're 120 mils. The two Noctuas there are 3000 RPM, but they're all running nice and quietly because they're controlled by that little unit which is connected to that hub there. Um, now, what was I going to say? Ah, oh, this is actually the second time I'm making this video the first time the battery ran out on the GoPro I had to swap batteries um, and I realized how much sound, how much additional sound is made not just when there's something in front of the fan where the air is hitting against um, it actually makes a truckload more sound if there's something obstructing where the air goes in and I'll demonstrate that when I've got the fans plugged in. So I'm just going to put the GoPro on my forehead. Hopefully everything stays in shot. There's not much to see really. It's more a case of the sound. So here we go. Delta fan first up. There we are, plugged in and away we go. Now check out the, the sound difference between it spinning freely, so to speak, and obstruction. So that's the Delta. Now the Silverstone. Slightly different pitch to it. Now the sound difference. I actually think I prefer the pitch of the Delta, but given that the Silverstone is overall more quiet, I'm still going to go with it. And this is what it sounds like when it has a bit of PWM control applied to it. I can't, I can't tell you off the top of my head what kind of settings I've set up on the temperature. It's not going to be uh, as conservative as this computer, obviously. So it will run faster at any given point in time. But um, that's it. That's all you can hear. And that is sweet jack all, really.
so yeah quite looking forward to this modification now I'm just going to press that back onto its sticky pad there so yeah that's the work that lies in front of me now to replace the fans these four fans on the back of the uh, disc shelf. Alright, that's all for now. Cheers. See ya.